you know i'm not some sort of perfume expert but just just your average girl you know <laughs> It's your girl Fumi Lyo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to like this video because it helps other people to see the video and make sure to subscribe because we have awesome content on this channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a review on the Baccarat Rouge 540 fragrance as well as the um, Baccarat Rouge 540 uh, body oil and letting you know what I thought about it. So yes you guys, uh, this is it. This is it. This is the one, the perfume that it seems to be in everybody's perfume haul. So I first got introduced to it. I can't remember whose uh, perfume haul I was looking at, but I know it was definitely, I feel like on Aaliyah's face, it was, it was just on so many people's uh, perfume haul. And they were always saying like, this is such a good perfume. How it's on the more, more of the expensive side, but it's definitely worth it. So I was like, let me, let me take a look. Let me see whether, you know, it's something that I want to get into because I really do like good perfume. So here, let me show you. It doesn't want to focus. Okay. So, <laughs> but um, yes, I really do like good perfumes. And this is the Maison Francis Kirkjohn Paris Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm butchering the name, but it is such a good fragrance. Uh, it smells so good. I decided to look at the different reviews and all the reviews, they were saying things that made me feel like I would really like this fragrance. And so I ended up going to the store and smelling it and it smelled so good. Oh my goodness. And I was like, okay. I'm definitely gonna get this. And the thing about it was, <laughs> actually when I went to smell this, I didn't order it from, it was Neiman Marcus. I didn't order it from Neiman Marcus. I didn't get it that day. I ended up ordering it from Bloomingdale's because they were having a promotion. So that's something to think about. If you do want one of these fragrances, uh, when the stores have promotions, maybe that would be the best time for you to get it. I know sometimes Saks will have promotions, um, I think, because I was also looking um, there, and I think they had a deal where it, if you spent a certain amount, they give you a certain amount in a gift card. Uh, but Bloomingdale's, it just was a certain percentage off. So I went ahead and I ordered it off of there instead of getting it that day from Neiman where I smelled the fragrance. But I ended up getting my mom the Gentle Fluidity one also by Maison Francis Kirk Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I ended up getting her that one um, that day. Uh, and that one smells really good. Review coming soon. Uh, but what's ironic is that my mom had already ordered the Baccarat uh, as Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as the gentle fluidity for her and uh, also the body oil. She had ordered it already to give me the Baccarat Rouge and the body oil for my birthday. So I ended up getting all three since I already got her the gentle fluidity. Um, she didn't need the gentle fluidity that she had already ordered. And since I had already ordered the Baccarat Rouge, I gave her my Baccarat Rouge as well. Uh, but yes, so this smell is amazing, you guys. It literally, let me just, it smells sweet, like uh, just very sweet, even, and it stays on my hair after, after I sprayed it, I want to say like two or three days ago, I sprayed this on my hair. I still smell it on my hair to today, you guys, but I feel like that's kind of typical though when I spray stuff on my hair, but the potency of this, the way it smells on the hair and the way it smells on the body, uh, it's really, it's really good. Cause you know, sometimes with the cheaper perfumes, you kind of get that alcohol. Uh, I think that's how you describe it. The alcohol kind of smell when you spray it. Like it takes a while to really, you know, it, it, it fades quick, it fades quickly. But this one, it smells more, you get more of the pure fragrance, I feel like my opinion and a lot of the reviews i watched they also say the same thing and i feel like that's kind of what makes it worth the money uh i think uh can't, can neither confirm nor deny the alcohol content is less in this um but definitely whatever they did <laughs> it is definitely worth the money and i also got it with the body oil and this is the package that it came in um and the body oil let me open it up. 
it's like this so it's basically the same the only difference is that the bottle the bottle is different and i think this is this looks lighter as well honestly um yeah look at this so it's a scented body oil i'm just gonna spray some on my Uh, and it just smells so nice. It smells very warm. That's why I like it. It's just mm, It's just super warm and light But just wearing the body oil alone if you're really trying to smell like something it's not enough but if you spray the body oil and spray the uh, Baccarat on top Ooh, I shouldn't have done a full one. I shouldn't have done that I just put some on me now. <laughs> oh, we're limited, you know, in the pandemic. I've many places that we can go to. I might as well spray it here. Mmm, it just, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I really didn't need to spray it just now, but oh, just to get me in the vibe as I'm filming this video. It smells good. It's worth the money. It's worth the money. It's definitely. Mmm, it's just, oh, let me go through the notes so the key notes in uh this fragrance are jasmine saffron and cedar wood mm. and you do you do get the wood but it's not overpowering like it's light but it's a sweet on top like it's just uh, it smells so good so the jasmine saffron cedar wood and ambergris uh they, it's described as like very uh, amber floral and woody and you do you get that for sure you get that it, it, i think it's more so i think it would be the amber for me because i do smell the woody you know and the floral it's there but it's not overpowering again but the amber just warm i don't know if that's what's making it smell so warm but uh it just it does it for me it's definitely a good fragrance to get it says the woody scent releases a poetic alchemy a highly condensed and graphic olfactory signature breezy jasmine facets radiant saffron boost the ambergris mineral notes and the woody tones of freshly cut setter it's bright and sleek um and it says that it caresses the skin like an amber and woody floral whisper and it's it's not too floral because i will say me the floral fragrances i kind of veer away from it's not majority of the ones i've smelled it has not been my thing but this just smells very warm and like sweet warm and sweet is how i would describe this very nice worth the investment it does stay on your skin but i feel like and i read i already seen reviews about it that you'll go like nose blind or something like that so sometimes i can't smell it on me but other people will be able to smell it on you. Um, Cause there've been times where I didn't smell it on me, but somebody was really close to me. And they're like, oh, this smells, smells nice or whatever. But um, I still, it's a pandemic. So I've been, I've been out now, but I haven't been out, out. So I'm still testing out the fragrance. So I can't say like, oh, I'm just getting compliments everywhere I go. No, I can't give you that. But people will say, if they smell it, they will say, yeah, like that smells nice, you know? So I have gotten that, <laughs> but um, it just smells good. Like I personally, I like to be able to smell the fragrance. So everybody else, that's cool, they can smell it, but I want to be able to smell like what I smell, smell like. And I feel like the body oil, yes, it, it helps, it helps, it helps. I would say it helps, but my nose still does go nose blind. There are still some times where I can't smell it. But for instance, like today, when I was putting on my hair, I smelled the hair and I smelled it just clearly. You know, like you'll smell it on your clothes. I smell it on my clothes, but sometimes when I'm just wearing it throughout the day on my body, sometimes I won't be able to smell it. But I do very well think it is worth the investment. The body oil, would I say that's worth the investment? I would say so because layering wise i think it's it is helpful to a degree i still feel like um you i still feel like it's um it is more on the expensive side um but uh if you're for me like if somebody were to ask me oh should i go for the body oil or the perfume first i will go for the perfume first to be honest like if you know that you like it I would go for the perfume first and then if you just want that extra boost 
than the body oil. That's my opinion. You know, I'm not some sort of perfume expert, but just just your average girl, you know, <laughs> giving her an opinion on this expensive perfume. So I will go for this girl. Okay. And then later, if you want to just, you know, you can get this one, but this is, this is that girl. I will say that. Yeah, it is. Uh, Aaliyah says she was right about this one for sure. And everybody, I wish I remembered all the other people's videos that I watched, but yes, I know that everybody who talked about this, they were, they were right. This does smell really good um and you smell it you smell it for a while since i've gotten it i've been wearing it's pretty much every time i go out just because <laughs> just because i'm just like okay like this was you know this is on a little bit on the expensive side not a little bit a lot of it on the more expensive side i want to get as much wear of it as possible but at the same time though it is which is counter counterintuitive not counterintuitive but which is interesting because a lot of videos i watched we were talking about like you know how they're kind of conserving it like you know like it's, it's very expensive like being careful with how they're spraying and stuff like that but my mindset is you know i i'm not i guess because there's not as many big events going on because of everything going around on in the world or whatever so every day is a big event uh and i don't even go out that much but if i do go out I just go ahead and I'll, I'll spray this on and it just makes me feel good. It smells so good, so it makes me feel good. I, perfumes, honestly, it, it's a mood booster. So something about those, the aromatics that just makes you feel like, yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel good, you feel nice or whatever. And the oil, yes, get to put on. Uh, I just spray, I spray mine right here, right here, right here, right here. Um, in terms of like the perfume and like in my inner elbow people say the back of your knee I didn't do that though. I didn't do that. That might be something to try later on But th those are pretty much where I spray it and I'll spray it like kind of around my hair because I noticed it'll stay in your hair uh, and I'll spray it like maybe what on my um on my whatever shirt or thing I'm wearing and that is and I'm not saying like I spray like so many times but one spray and then do my elbows like this, 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 you know, do like that, you know, try to, <laughs> try to make it go the mile. Um, it is definitely worth it. I would, would I recommend it? Absolutely. If you're thinking about buying it, make sure to smell it first and then buy it. I was originally torn between getting this and the extract and I did choose this one because this one just stuck out to me more. It popped out to me more when I first smelled it. Um, when I smelled all the gentle fluidity, the Baccarat and the um, the Baccarat extract, when I just smelled that at first in New Marcus, this popped out to me more. And so I went ahead and get it, got it, but I did go back and I smelled the extract again and I smelled it on my skin and it just, ugh. Yeah, I think it might be definitely something that I want to invest in next because it just does smell so good. It smells really, really nice. All right, well, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you have these fragrances and you like them or if you're considering buying them and you're kind of on the fence, I would say go ahead. Uh, definitely, you can wait until certain stores are having sales. I know they carry them at Saks. They carry it at um, Bloomingdale's. Um, they carry it at uh, Neiman Marcus. So if you want to wait until those stores are doing promotions or anything like that, that's a good way to get it, honestly. Because remember when I had ordered mine, Bloomingdale's was doing the promotion, so I didn't have to pay the full amount. I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but uh, if I do find it, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, and I will talk to you later. Bye.